office hours today I'm going to talk about margin utility and how we can use the idea of looking at consumer satisfaction uh, to predict what choices consumers should make. I'd like you to consider the following question. Suppose that you get more utility per dollar spent from hamburgers than when you eat french fries. Which of these four actions should you do next? Have more fries to eat? Get a drink to go with the fries and the hamburgers? get another hamburger to eat, or go to Five Guys, which makes really, really great hamburgers. Okay, think about that for a moment. I'll move out of the way. These are your four options. That's our question up there. Do you have an idea of what you should do next? Ready? Let's go. I'm going to look at the question again. You get more utility per dollar spent. Why is that important? Well, we already know that you, when you eat hamburgers, the enjoyment you get on a per dollar basis is greater than the enjoyment you get on a per dollar basis from the fries. What does that tell us? It tells us that we've factored in the, fa the price of the hamburger being a little bit more expensive than the fries, uh, but you still get more enjoyment from the hamburgers. That's going to allow us to eliminate one of the options up here. Clearly, the hamburger option is better than the fries. I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. That leaves us with three choices. Okay, the hamburger, the drink, or going to Five Guys. Let's look again at the question. There's nothing in the question about getting something to drink. We don't know what this person's utility is from drinking. We don't know if they're thirsty or not. It's not something that's stipulated here in the question. And to answer with the drink would be fundamentally altering the nature of the question. It would be violating what economists talk about as ceteris paribus, holding all other things constant. So we're not going to answer with the drink either. I'm going to eliminate that, which leaves us with the hamburger. We're going to Five Guys. And while you might be tempted to say, hey, Five Guys makes great hamburgers, Five Guys is not part of the question. So you can't answer Five Guys here. All we really know is that the hamburger is better than the fry. Yeah, Five Guys sounds interesting. Yeah, it's about hamburgers. But no, we don't know anything about Five Guys up here at the top part of the question. We'd also be violating Ceteris Paribus. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I think that one of the reasons why we frame questions is to help you focus in on what the answer would be. And so in this particular case, if we get rid of the distractions, the drink, and the five guys, all we've really got here is a question about fries versus hamburgers. And in this particular case, we were told right from the get-go that you get more enjoyment per dollar spent. Uh, and therefore, we've made a fair comparison between the hamburgers and the fries. We choose the hamburgers. We're all done.